Ladies and gentlemen, we have been waiting for this one for too damn long after two successful episodes of a draft that will not be forgotten for a very long time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your season premiere of Monday Night Raw as we have one hell of a main event, but you see the two men are here in the building ready to go. It's going to be Will Ospreay. It's going to be the best in the world. Two men coming off of two major losses at WrestleMania get another opportunity at greatness as Will Ospreay. Spray takes on CM Punk inside your main event. And this one, ladies and gentlemen, will have big implications because the winner of this matchup moves on to take on the winner of next week's matchup. It's either going to be LA Knight or Cody Rhodes. We don't know, ladies and gentlemen. But what we do know is that our general manager is here and he is ready to announce everything. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is General Manager Adam Pierce, and I want to welcome everybody to your season premiere of Monday night raw now tonight's a very special night tonight's a very special night for a number of reasons but for the first one i have a bit of an announcement regarding the unforgiven pay-per-view now although we announced its original date we are changing it to may 12th 2024 we're bringing you guys the pay-per-view a month earlier than expected and we're just damn, damn excited to get there, ladies and gentlemen, as we have one hell of a king of the ring to gear up for. But ladies and gentlemen, over the next couple of weeks here in Universe Mode, we will be unveiling a future new Women's Continental Championship that has already been revealed over on the WrestlePlus page. Aside from that, Bobby Lashley versus LA Knight tonight. We're going to hear from our hottest signee, Bronson Reed. And that's not all, ladies and gentlemen, because in the main event, we have a mega match. And it's for the King of the Ring round one. It is going to be CM Punk versus Will Ospreay. The rematch from two months ago. It is going down right here on the season premiere of Raw. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Adam Pierce laying it all down on the line as we are going to be getting into one hell of an episode of Raw, ladies and gentlemen. Just as a reminder on what Adam Pierce just said, when it comes down to Unforgiven, we are going to be seeing that one one month earlier. May 12th is the new date. I'm excited, and I hope you guys are too. But, ladies and gentlemen, coming tonight it is going to be the Usos taking on the debuting Chase U. And that's not all, ladies and gentlemen, as Raw's hottest sign in the draft, Ron Breaker, will be making his stay here on Raw as we are going to be catching up with him in a backstage interview but ladies and gentlemen women's action it is going to be the Empress of Tomorrow Asuka against Nikita Lyons and ladies and gentlemen this one's going to be damn good LA Knight Bobby Lashley that one's going to be a hard hitting one for sure and inside your main event it is King of the Ring implications CM Punk Will Ospreay one on one well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. We are getting into our first matchup of the night as women's action will be kicking us off right here for our new season. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to get it out of the way. If you do enjoy the content, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe for more. I don't know how we're going to hit this. It's time for the main event. No, with me being sick, but ladies and gentlemen, sick or not, Raw is here. It's ready to go, and Asuka is here stepping into a new season on the Monday Night Raw brand. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be damn, damn good. Big night in store for you guys. Well, ladies and gentlemen, breaking news earlier today on the Wrestle Plus YouTube channel as we dropped our official uh, rosters, championships, how to be on each brand it is all over here right on the youtube channel ladies and gentlemen which is available to watch for anybody if you are excited about the universe mode content that has been coming you guys way also ladies and gentlemen when it comes down to the women's action there's one more thing to go over ladies and gentlemen as there's a new championship for the raw women's title and it's not called a raw women's world title ladies and gentlemen it is the new continental women's championship ladies and gentlemen and that title will be defended any and all places we are looking for a champion to really live up to the name as challenger of the continental champion ladies and gentlemen as this one this one is going to be damn damn good here tonight as ladies and gentlemen oscar for the first time here in universe mode is going to be stepping in the ring with the woman herself ladies and gentlemen nikita lyons this is going to be the first time we've seen nikita lyons right here in universe mode she has had a lot of hype around her on her lead up to coming right here on Raw. The big question that I have for you guys is how will she fare on the Raw roster, ladies and gentlemen, with the Raw roster and the Mayhem roster split into two. Opportunities open up for women like Nikita Lyons, but also, ladies and gentlemen, going against a woman like Asuka. Having other women on this roster who are fierce challengers, who are dangerous challengers, might not do too good when it comes down to Nikita Lyons. Lyons is new here. 
She's fresh and she is ready to go, ladies and gentlemen, as Nikita Lyons. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as you see right there, a bit of an MMA background by Lyons. A little bit of a reality TV background. When it comes to Nikita Lyons, she's seemingly done it all, ladies and gentlemen. But wrestle right here inside the Wrestle Plus Squared Circle. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a good one, a good one to say the least, as the last time that we seen the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, it was in a qualifying match to enter inside the No Way Out Chamber matchup, which she did lose against uh, Bailey, if I'm not mistaken. So now she was looking for a new opportunity right here on the red brand as here we go, a crowd chanting for Asuka here tonight as she picks up Nikita Lyons and brings her down. Listen, take nothing away from the physical athleticism, the, the strict structure of Nikita Lyons, but she is no light woman to lift as now you see those knees coming into fruition here tonight over and over again as the Empress of Tomorrow falls to her feet. Beautifully done there by Nikita Lyons. Lyons not playing any games here tonight. Like I shared with you guys earlier, an opportunity here tonight for Nikita Lyons to really step up. An opportunity for her to really prove herself here in the women's division as she is trying to really step up and be something great, ladies and gentlemen. As, oh, kick out there by Asuka. Beautifully done. You know, Asuka being the more um, the veteran in the ring here tonight. When coming down to the square circle, you definitely can argue, ladies and gentlemen, that that's going to play a factor when helping out Asuka in this matchup. But I might eat my words here as Nikita Lyons firing away on Asuka here tonight. Not playing any games with her. But ladies and gentlemen, I want to remind you that this opener for you guys here tonight is commercial free for the women's action. As Lita, oh, Nikita Lyons running straight at Asuka. Asuka, though, bringing a knee up and now going right for the kicks. Furious strikes here by the Empress of Tomorrow. Look at that now, Asuka, big kick to the back there. Middle of the back, nowhere for her to go, nothing for her to do. Now she's just playing. Now look at this. Tormenting Nikita Lyons, giving her a little bit of that in-ring veteranism that we were talking about all throughout the night. Is Look at this now. Pulling on that arm, but not quite going for a, ooh, a signature maneuver with it. Just trying to do some damage. Is now raking the eyes twice as Asuka. Man, oh man, Asuka not playing any games here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Big punch to the face there. Missed out. Nikita Lyons looking to turn this one around for her here tonight. Lyons now, what does she have in mind here? Big DDT. Almost a thunderous DDT by Nikita Lyons. Beautiful work there. Lyons on an absolute rampage here tonight. There's a beautiful DDT right there to the middle of the ring. She is taunting her way to the WWE Universe. And oh man, I was going to say that might not benefit her too much as Asuka with a beautiful spinning back elbow into the cover now is this one going to be it no Asuka finding some way to stay alive just like Nikita Lyons did in the beginning of this matchup ladies and gentlemen back and forth as these two women go what a matchup we are witnessing here tonight for our opener right here on Monday Night Raw but look at that now, ladies and gentlemen as Asuka firing away on all cylinders here tonight not playing any games with Nikita Lyons ladies and gentlemen what a maneuver being done look at this now Asuka Looks to want to put this one right away into the covers. This one going to be it here tonight. Two and a no. Nikita Lyons finding a way somehow, some way finding it in her to kick out. Man, oh man, oh man. That is something, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely did not expect to see that out of Nikita Lyons to save the least, ladies and gentlemen. Both women up to their feet now. Let's look at that now. Nikita Lyons feeling a little bit of a comeback. Two clotheslines there for the Empress of Tomorrow. Asuka, big trouble here is, oh, Nikita Lyons takes her down. Beautiful work there. Talk about turning this one around, ladies and gentlemen, as Asuka now. Asuka looking for it. Is she going to be able to get it out of nowhere? Crossface, chicken wing, it's locked in. Chicken wing's locked in. Nowhere for her to go, nothing for her to do. Look at this now, Lions. Lions might have no choice, ladies and gentlemen, but to tap out here tonight as, oh, Nikita Lions finding a way to get the rollout. Beautiful done there by Nikita Lions. Lions now bringing Asuka right into the ring. Into the ring as she goes, not playing any games here tonight as Nikita Lyons want the liner up for something big there. Asuka just able to get back up to her feet a little faster than Lyons here tonight. Beautiful takedown there by the Empress of Tomorrow. Asuka not playing any games here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. With the, with the Continental Women's Championship just being talked about, it not even being a title yet. You know, all these matches are definitely going to get looked at closely when it comes down to the... Uh, you know, the general manager, Adam Pierce. But look at this now as Asuka two kicks missed out there. Not really uh, getting all that she wanted to get here tonight. Look at this now. Asuka looking to use the rope sword advantage here tonight. Is doing so and doing a damn good job at it. Look at that. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, this is street dominance. Dominance on display, ladies and gentlemen. As look at that now. Nikita Lyons with a big punch. Asuka with a big punch. Both women 
taking almost everything out of each other right here to open us up here in our season premiere. Look at that now, Asuka getting the better of Nikita Lions, not allowing Lions to do what she wants to do there. Lions able to snap back though. Asuka with a big slap to the chest there. Lions want something big there. Asuka says no. Asuka now just unloading a furious strikes, but no. Takes down Nikita Lions. Lions now looks to go for another punch, but Asuka sits her down there, stomping on the feet there, and oh, the hand there. Beautiful work there by the Empress at tomorrow. Asuka, we talked about her plenty of times in the past, how, you know, she's always destined to do such great things, but can never really win the big one. Look at this now, ladies and gentlemen. Hip attack by Asuka into the cover. Two and three. Asuka gets it done right here to open us up in your season premiere of Monday Night Raw. What a win by the Empress of tomorrow. And I can only assume, ladies and gentlemen, on what's next here in Universe Mode for Asuka. Tonight, the Bloodline is going to be going against Chase U. A team that Roman isn't very impressed with. And he expects you to take very quick work of Chase U here tonight. As you guys know, the Bloodline is entering in a new era. An era where only championship gold will get you in the Bloodline. And I know what you're thinking. The Tribal Chief doesn't have gold. Jacob Fatu doesn't have gold. But I guarantee you one thing and one thing only. After they get the gold, it is going to take a lot. And I mean a lot to get the gold off of them. So said simply, Usos, tonight you are sent in on a mission to make quick work of Chase U. Can you do it? Roman seems like he thinks you can. Me, on the other hand, I'm a little skeptical. Jimmy, you have been on your A-game, but Jay? I don't know, Jay. There's just something going on with you. And, well, if you think that this is something, a matter, at least for the tribal chief, well, you just let your wise man know. All roads lead to this. All roads lead back to the king of the ring. A king of the ring last year that I was standing on the mountaintop for, and I looked at this from a different angle. I was the guy that everybody was gunning for. Now I'm the guy gunning for the big prize. How poetic, isn't it? Well, ladies and gentlemen, May 12th, the date of Unforgiven might change, but my story does not. May 12th is where people sit down to watch cinema. May 12th is where I become another world's champ. Oh, shut up. I mean, come on, you gotta be kidding me. I barely been back, what, 24 hours and you're already bitching and moaning about the same thing you were doing last year? Listen, you're going to be going against me. Whether it's semi-finals, whether we make it to the finals with each other, and long story short is, Cody, I'm going to beat you. Just like I did last year because the truth and the fact of the matter is that nobody wants to touch on and talk about. I'm the only man that's held the championship that we're all so fighting for. Everybody wants a spot at the top, but nobody's even had that taste of the top yet. Me, I've had it, and I'm hungry, and I want it. They don't call me a prize fighter for no reason. I am here, I am in the tournament, and I am ready to go. I am the first ever WWE champion, and I've already righted the wrong that you beat me last year. Well, huh, I wouldn't mind doing it with title implications in the mix. Now, how poetic would that be, Cody? Well, ladies and gentlemen, as we are obviously having a, a night full of tension as we are getting into the king of the ring, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we are set to see the Usos in action with the Tribal Chiefs music playing as the WWE crowd realize it is nothing but the Usos, ladies and gentlemen, here tonight. As the Usos set out a promise, Paul Heyman gave a message to the Usos earlier tonight and said simply Roman Reigns is expecting no failure. Tonight, Roman Reigns is expecting you to do a clean sweep when it comes down to the team of Chase U. He said that these are new teams. This is a team that has barely got their feet wet and barely have training under their belt. If the Usos lose here tonight, a lot of things have to be reevaluated when it comes down to the Usos contract with the bloodline as Roman Reigns. Reigns making things a little harder for the Usos, expecting them to only win matches from here on out. No losses are accepted by the Usos. And, you know, listen, ladies and gentlemen, you know, you're, you're Roman Reigns. You're, you're running the bloodline. 
everything that just happened at WrestleMania that happened. You know, if I'm, the, if I'm Roman Reigns, I'm keeping a better look on them too. But ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Andre Chase, Duke Hudson. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Chase. You, ladies and gentlemen, this one's going to be damn, damn good to see the woman with them. It is Thea Ha, ladies and gentlemen, as she is signed to Universe Mode as well. And she will be making her women's debut very, very soon in the future, ladies and gentlemen. But what we are focused on here tonight is Duke Hudson, Andre Chase. We are focused on Chase You, Chase You, similar vibe to Alpha Academy. You know, I had a... Uh, a little bit of an, uh, a talk with the leader of Chase U, Andre Chase, and I asked him simply, listen, you know, what's really the difference between Chase U and the Alpha Academy? Well, Andre Chase simply told me, listen, I guess it's like a group of people going to UConn and a group of people going to the great old Princeton University. And ladies and gentlemen, Chase U says that the better, the better university will win as they may be a Alpha Academy, but they have nothing on Chase University, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be very, very interesting as we know Chad Gable, Otis, they are a part of the Mayhem roster with Chad Gable being the North American champion. So it's going to be different seeing a, a new university take a bit of a precedence right here on the red brand. Let's waste no time, ladies and gentlemen, as Jay Uso starting off here with Andre Chase. You know, what makes this very interesting, ladies and gentlemen, is the fact that, you know, Jay Uso... He's been uh, kind of lacking in the bloodline the last couple of weeks. You know, we've seen uh, Jay Uso wrestle at WrestleMania to win the championships. We've seen the debut of Jacob Fatu, which we now know he is the newest addition of the bloodline after Roman's promo this past Friday. And, you know, learning from that, Roman basically has been asking where the hell Jay Uso's been. He was expecting him to be on uh, Mayhem with them, and he wasn't. He was expecting him to be on the first episode of the draft, and he wasn't. You know, Jay Uso has kind of been, uh, you know, wrestling with Jimmy Uso when it comes down to this brother tag team. But when it comes down to any bloodline business, Jay Uso kind of keeps himself out of it. But as Paul Heyman said earlier tonight, Roman Reigns will be watching on. And look at this now, into the cover. Is this one going to be it here tonight early on for the Usos? Is oh, we do know that Roman expects a clean win out of the Usos here tonight. No shenanigans, nothing like that. Just a straight up. And when I say straight up, I mean straight up brawl, ladies and gentlemen. As look at this now, Jay Uso, beautiful Irish trip off the ropes. Andre Chase is going down low. Look at this now, looks to be going under, but Chase brings him down there. Beautiful work there by Chase. Into the cover here by the newbie, Andre Chase, to get the job done here tonight. No. I mean, imagine if he was to get this win for Chase University, the things that it would do for Chase U here tonight especially with them making their debut right here on the season premiere of Raw. But look at this, ladies and gentlemen, Jimmy Uso in the ring now, bouncing off of the ropes here. As look at that, also new legal man, Duke Hudson. Hudson and Jimmy going at it, ladies and gentlemen, as Hudson, oh! Beautiful work there, grabbing the hair, just dodging him down. Beautiful DDT as well by Duke Hudson. Hudson, the sleeper of the team here at Chase U. But look at that now, another, another devastating DDT. But ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have to go on commercial break real fast. We'll be right back right after this. Well, ladies and gentlemen, later on tonight, our intercontinental champion, LA Knight, will be in action as he is going to be going one-on-one -on -one with the almighty Bobby Lashley. Lashley is not impressed with how LA Knight defeated his tag team partner, Trick Williams, last week. So Bobby Lashley is looking for some revenge. Can he get it for the Hurt Business? Find out later tonight. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back right here on Monday Night Raw. As you see, the two legal men in the ring now is now Jay Uso and Andre Chase again, like it was to start us off here. And on the outside here, you see, or oh, wait a minute, I could be eating my words here as I can't really get the closest of looks, but that might be Jay on the outside and, on, or, and Jimmy on the inside here as getting back up to his feet now. I think that is Jay on the outside trying to save his tag team partner here tonight. Let's look at this now. Big Irish trip there by Jimmy. Jimmy ducking down low, popping under. But look at that now. Spop up Samoan splash by Big Brother Oos. We do know after last week he was named the official second hand of the Tribal Chief as Jimmy Uso has been the one making things happen here in Universe Mode. But then again, it was Jay Uso to get the pin for the Usos back at WrestleMania. Now look at this now. Ducking down low. Oh! Jay Uso with an absolutely devastating Samoan drop. Look at that now, Andre Chase getting the tag in. It is gonna be, oh, Duke Hudson here with Jimmy Uso slugging it away here tonight as 
Beautiful takedown there by Jimmy Uso. Now a knee right into the neck there. This is absolutely devastating, ladies and gentlemen. When you think about the Usos, you think about dominance and dominance like never before. But at the same time, ladies and gentlemen, Chase U, they're just trying to survive. As Look at that now. Super kick into the cover. Jimmy to do it and no. Jimmy to try to put it away for the Usos. Jay looking to back him up here tonight. As look at this now. Jay has something in store here for Andre Chase. But the referee telling him to get back to his other side. Big kick there by Jimmy Uso. Jimmy now, look at that. Oh, raking the forearm right across the face there. Not playing any games here tonight. It's Jimmy Uso. New cuts and definitely down for it. This one looks absolutely painful, ladies and gentlemen. If I'm Duke, I'm getting that tag in and that tag in fast. As look at this now. Jay goes up, or excuse me, Jimmy goes up. What comes up must come down. Uso splashed by Jimmy Uso. Into the cover here with Andre Chase still dazed on the outside. And the bloodline put this one away here tonight. What a victory, ladies and gentlemen. As, oh my god, wait a minute, look at that. That's Jacob Fatu. Fatu's in the ring going right after Duke Hudson. Now turning his attention to the man that just got Uso splashed. Jacob Fatu coming out here and cleaning up work for the Usos. Wow, 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 what the hell did we just see? Who is going to be able to put a stop to these men as the Usos now cheering on by the Tribal Chief and the Wise Man watching on backstage? Ladies and gentlemen, I think that a message was just sent by the bloodline to the entire WWE Universe. You are not safe when stepping into the ring with the bloodline. What a match by the World Tag Team Champions. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, we are going to hear from our hottest signing here on Raw. It is Braun Breaker. He is the meanest. He is the youngest. He's full of energy, and he's ready to go. And speaking on Breaker, next week, he will make his Monday Night Raw in-ring debut. This past Friday, I said my message, and I made sure that it was really heard by the WWE Universe. I'm here to break necks. I'm here to dominate on a different level than anybody else has truly dominated. I am here to win championship gold. Now, I've been seeing what's been going on all night with this season premiere. you got the bloodline running rampage. Well, next week I make my debut. So next week, bloodline, stay out of my way. And you guys won't be bothered. Listen, I have barely been here for two weeks, and I am sick. I've been seeing you hit everybody with spikes. We got a problem? Well, all right then. That's what I thought. Well, let's just say that WrestleMania didn't really end too well for me. WrestleMania ended with me, with my head completely caved in. WrestleMania ended with me losing the World's Heavyweight Championship. And, well, that's something that I haven't even forgiven myself for, but... I know opportunities when I see them. Adam Pierce has given me another opportunity, an opportunity that I will not squander, an opportunity that I will cash in on and make sure that I become the next WWE Champion. I made it my statement that I was going to make sure, no matter what happens, the Judgment Day walked out of WrestleMania with no gold. And although that happened with Finn Balor, well, it wasn't really how I expected it to. But I am ready to move on. I am ready for a better future. I am ready to wrestle here on Raw. And CM Punk, I've beaten you before in the past. And I'll do it again. You may think that this is your opportunity. You may think that this is a career resurgence for you. But in reality, you're just my stepping stone. And you were my stepping stone two months ago when we faced each other. And you will be the stepping stone now. I will beat you tonight, CM Punk. If it's the last thing that I ever do. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back out here to the Raw Zone as we are getting in to action, ladies and gentlemen. Not just any action, we are getting in to the action of the almighty Bobby Lashley as he is going to be going one-on-one -on -one with our new Intercontinental Champion, L.A. Knight. Yeah, it's going to be damn good tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Last week on the, uh, well, I wouldn't call it a season premiere, but episode zero, the draft, ladies and gentlemen. We've seen a great episode where LA Knight went one-on-one -on -one with Trick Williams. The crowd was absolutely here for it. We were absolutely here for it. And ladies and gentlemen, 
uh, enough's been said. We want more, ladies and gentlemen. I think that's pretty obvious. But moving forward, Bobby Lashley, Trick Williams, Cedric Alexander, an MVP part of the Hurt Business is they would be staying right over here on Raw. It's going to be uh, very interesting to see how they fare over here on the Red Brand as, well, again, you know, Bobby Lashley, he's always been able to, you know, win his matches, but then when it comes down to the big one, sometimes he, you know, he tends to fall, ladies and gentlemen. But tonight, tonight we are looking to see if Bobby Lashley can get the job done against our Intercontinental Champion, L.A. Knight, as he has a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot going for him, ladies and gentlemen, as L.A. Knight is, well, he's in King of the Ring. He's been wrestling on every episode of Universe Mode since 2K24. So, let's just say it's been... Hectic, to say the least, for this man right here, the megastar. Everywhere he goes, ladies and gentlemen, the crowd cheers his name, ladies and gentlemen, the Intercontinental Champion, L.A. Knight. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, what a high that this man has been on um, over the last couple of weeks. It's quite simple, ladies and gentlemen. This man has won the championship at WrestleMania. Raw after went one on one with Trick Williams last Friday on our draft episode at Mayhem. He went one on one with the man himself, Roger Strong, for the Intercontinental Championship. And yet, he still holds the gold around his waist. And yet, and yet, this man is still doing the great things that he needs to do, ladies and gentlemen. LA Knight absolutely on one. Again, apologies for the uh, the rough commentary tonight as I am very sick. But uh, we are pushing through. And we are getting through it for the sake of the episode. That is all that matters, ladies and gentlemen. L.A. Knight in the ring, ready to go. And so is Bobby freaking Lashley. This one is going to be heated, ladies and gentlemen. This one's going to be as hard-hitting as hard-hitting comes. Let's waste no time. Let's get right into the mix. Here we go. Oh, big neck breaker there by L.A. Knight. Missing out there as Bobby Lashley had him well scouted there. Lashley, bit of an advantage on L.A. Knight. So we don't know if Knight's seen any uh, Lashley clips. But, uh, well, we do know that L.A. Knight has, uh, or Bobby Lashley has seen L.A. Knight's match last week against Trick Williams. So you can almost argue that there's a bit of an advantage going into this match, ladies and gentlemen. But look at that now. Oh, off the ropes. Beautifully done there by the Megastar. Yeah, absolutely devastating. And look at this now as the Megastar gets Bobby Lashley right back up to his feet. Look at that up and is he going to do it? Down he goes. Wow. LA Knight pulling out something a little different here tonight as we are on the season premiere of Raw, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, your official kickstart of the King of the Ring. Your official kickstart of the Unforgiven pay-per-view now taking place May 12th. And look at this now, ladies and gentlemen. LA Knight now looking to break the back of Bobby Lashley. Listen, a lot of people, is one word they say about Lashley. But aside from him bringing the hurt business to every match that he is in, ladies and gentlemen, this man brings the hurt, okay? This man is timeless when stepping into the ring, doing the same things that he used to do back in 02. Into the cover now. Is this one going to be it here? Lashley looking to put it away? No. LA Knight kicks out, beautifully done there as this crowd here tonight in Philadelphia is actually, uh, absolutely, excuse me, skyrocketed for both LA Knight and Bobby Lashley here tonight as you can't blame them, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that now as LA Knight takes down Bobby Lashley. Referee still working away on that corner there as it was Cedric Alexander who messed up the corner. Turnbuckle, beautifully done there by the Megastar. Yeah, indeed, ladies and gentlemen. The Megastar is absolutely on one here tonight. He won a match last week against Trick Williams with this combination right here. Can he put away Bobby Lashley with it? Oh, man, Lashley's still squirming on the ground, although he's down. I think LA Knight knows that he is not done and out. Let's look at this now, Lashley. Lashley getting to his feet by the request of LA Knight. Off the ropes and, oh, Actando missed out as Lashley gets the gut check in. Beautifully done there by Bobby Lashley. What a matchup we're seeing here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't so far, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more. As coming up next will be your main event. Man, oh man, beautifully done there by Bobby Lashley. Lashley now looking into the other corner to his, to his benefit. And in benefit he did, ladies and gentlemen. As now, look at this now, Warriors press here by Bobby Lashley. Lashley has LA Knight up and down he goes. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful maneuver by Bobby Lashley, but it's LA Knight who seemingly seems like he is getting the comeback here tonight. Bouncing him off the ropes, ducking down low, popping under, and a beautiful super slam there by LA Knight. What a match we are seeing, ladies and gentlemen. 
What a match we are seeing. And look at this now. LA Knight doing more damage too to Bobby Lashley. Now you're seeing Cedric Alexander looking to tangle it up here as Knight goes into the covers. This one going to be it here too. And no, LA Knight just keeps on trying, ladies and gentlemen, as now Lashley rolling to the outside. What is Lashley in? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Lashley has the mega star up and down. But it was Lashley's arm that hit the chair there, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you just witnessed what just went down right there. And now LA Knight looking to bounce back using the chair, ladies and gentlemen. Wonderful work there by LA Knight. What a match we are seeing here. If you haven't done so so far, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more content on the channel because more content is definitely going your way. And look at that now. Neck breaker on the outside. Beautiful work by LA Knight. Knight now getting stomped in the chest there. Or excuse me, stomping. He's doing the stomping to the chest. As they are using this chair to their advantage, but in the most legal way. And Cedric Alexander, Trick Williams has no choice but to watch on as the leader of the Hurt Business getting absolutely dominated here tonight by LA Knight. Look at this now, Knight waiting, waiting for the almighty Bobby Lashley. Lashley gets to the ring and just clocks. Clocks LA Knight. I mean, what a maneuver, ladies and gentlemen. And oh man, look at that now, Lashley. Lashley clubbing down hard, not playing any games here tonight. Doing exactly what he needs to do in this matchup. And wait a minute now, look at that. Bobby Lashley with a suplex. Belly to belly suplex for the effort to LA Knight. And oh, look at that big punch to the face there. Spins him over there. Lashley now has him in the hurt lock. Hurt lock locked in. First time that LA Knight has been in this submission maneuver here in Universe Mode history. Will he be able to find his way out? Or will LA Knight go down to the almighty and no? Lashley has to let go. It seems like the traps of LA Knight are too damn strong, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that now. Knight goes in for a punch. LA Knight. LA Knight trying to turn the tides around here on the Hurt Business's leader, Bobby Lashley. But Lashley with a beautiful neck breaker there. Lashley not playing any games here tonight with LA Knight. Lashley understands what needs to be done here tonight as Bobby Lashley now hooking the leg. Pulling on him. Look at this now. What a submission maneuver has LA Knight sideways in the air, ladies and gentlemen. Midair is the Intercontinental Champion. And now down goes the champion, the Bobby Lashley, as Lashley. Lashley showing off here tonight for the season premiere of Raw. And look at this now. Wait a minute, Lashley. Oh, big shoulder tackle missed out there by LA Knight. Knight now, not allowing him to do what he wants to do there. Big elbow strikes into the corner. He promised a stomp out to the entire Raw roster and a stomp out he is given. As look at this. Right now, down he goes with the elbow drop. Into the cover, two and no. Lashley finding a way somehow, some way, ladies and gentlemen. Lashley finding a way to kick out. As old man, look at this now. Cedric Alexander distracting LA Knight. That is not going to do LA Knight any justice here tonight if he wants to walk away with the victory. As look at this now. LA Knight sees Bobby Lashley. Lashley is a little hurt, but it seems like he was playing possum. As look at that now. You're an Augie by L. Or excuse me, by Bobby Lashley. Lashley with an absolutely devastating you're an Augie. Taking down the Intercontinental Champion as the champion's down. Bobby Lashley gets right back into the square circle. LA Knight trying to find himself in this matchup, and you can't blame him, ladies and gentlemen. And look at this now, Knight staring face to face on the count of five and getting right back into the ring. Look at this now. What does Lashley have in store here? Taking advantage of Knight getting in the ring right there. Oh, power slam into the corner, just tosses him. Absolutely devastating. And look at that now, Knight moving out of the way. Look like he wanted to go for a BFT, missed out, and Lashley. Scooping up Knight and dropping him down, ladies and gentlemen, in the last three episodes, including this one. This is going to be the toughest test of LA Knight yet. And look at that now. Big take down there by Lashley. What does Lashley have in mind now for the megastar LA Knight? As you see, the Hurt Business getting involved once again. LA Knight looking to use anything to his advantage here tonight. Knight now scoops the arm and takes down Bobby Lashley. Lashley's down. Knight is in the drop zone. He knows exactly where he wants to be. Spear by Lashley. One, two, no! Knight stays alive! The crowd chanting fight forever. Can you quite blame them? As LA Knight, Bobby Lashley are absolutely tearing it up here tonight. Beautiful takedown there by Bobby Lashley. Lashley, oh wait a minute. LA Knight gets the reversal, beautifully done there by LA Knight. Knight catches him! Blunt force trauma! Done! LA Knight does it here tonight!
I'm seeing everybody try to run rough shot here on Raw. I see everybody trying to make a name for themselves in King of the Ring. And I love the WWE Universe more than the next person. But when it comes down to King of the Ring, there's not going to be an aerial assassin, a best in the world. There is nobody that is going to be able to stop the gravy train of L.A. Knight. I am here for one reason. And one reason only, everybody wants to say why they're here, well, why don't I join on and join along with the game? I am here to become double champion. The light will not dim on LA night quite yet. I am here for one reason and one reason only, and that's to shut up whoever thinks that they're the biggest, that they're the baggage, that they're the baddest. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that by grabbing their head, planting it into the mat with a BFT. And raising the Intercontinental Championship and WWE Championship up high. And there's no magic. There's no nothing. You know why I'm going to do that? Because my name is simple. It is L. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, it is the one that we've all been waiting for all night long. It is finally the main event as CM Punk goes one-on-one -on -one with Will Ospreay on our round one match one of the King of the Ring. Let's get into this. You know, Ospreay, I heard your little message earlier. And quite frankly, I'm not impressed. I'm not here to down talk what you did at WrestleMania because my WrestleMania was no different. I also lost. I also have a lot to prove to myself and a lot to prove to the WWE Universe but at the end of the day at the end of the hour I understand what's most important to me I understand that winning a world championship here in Universe Mode going back to my mission statement from no way out that is where I need to be and this isn't just about championship gold this is see if I can put up with the best of the best I don't have a lot of years left on my career I'm just trying to make it in where I can get in. And son, I promise you one thing, Osprey. When I step into the ring with you tonight, you are going to get a different shade of the best in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, as we are back here, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, ladies and gentlemen, I've been waiting all week to say it. Sick and all, we're still hitting it. It's time for your main event, Osprey Punk 2. This time, huge implications when the king of the ring is the thing on the line. Ladies and gentlemen, only one member in this match can continue on, can move on, and get to that mountaintop known as the finals, May 12th at Unforgiven. Punk has already set his sights on that goal. But ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the day, at the end of the hour, CM Punk has said he will do it all in tonight's match. He will take down Will Ospreay, get the win back for himself. Ladies and gentlemen, this one is going to be very, very interesting, and this one will tell the test of time. Any member inside of this King of the Ring this year can make it. Any of those members can be our WWE Champion. It all starts tonight with one of the biggest matches in the entire tournament as we are going to be seeing CM Punk going one on one with the aerial assassin, Will Ospreay. What a matchup this is going to be, ladies and gentlemen. I am definitely, definitely looking forward to this one. This one right here, ladies and gentlemen, with a 20 minute time limit on the matchup. Wonder who's going to be able to walk away with the victory, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be very, very, very interesting. I look at this now, a man with a much serious tone than we've previously seen him with. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time since the WrestleMania main event, Will Ospreay. Ospreay has a big match here in the King of the Ring, a matchup that can truly make his career as he has already defeated CM Punk in the past on his road to WrestleMania. Now. Now he is going to have to do the exact same thing. Now, last time we seen that matchup, Punk said he lost because he wasn't even two, three weeks cleaned up 100% after no way out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, both of these men going into this one close to 100%. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be very, very interesting to see how Will Ospreay walks away as CM Punk, as CM Punk was one of his first victories here 
and Wrestle Plus. It's going to be so interesting to see how this one goes underway. Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't so far, we are at the main event. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more. As ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be damn, damn good. We want to waste no time. We want to get into the main event. 20 minute time limit. So much time to get into this banger, ladies and gentlemen. Let's waste no time and let's get right into it. Here we go as Charles Robinson being the referee for tonight. And look at that. Oh, beautiful elbow there to CM Punk. Or two Will Ospreay by CM Punk as Ospreay now going off the ropes early on here in the matchup. Big drop kick there by Will Ospreay. Taking his time a little bit here tonight with CM Punk. Beautiful moonsault there into the covers. This one's going to be it early here by Will Ospreay too. And no. Osprey somehow, some way able to get the kick out. Beautifully done there by CM Punk. Great posture and great overall ring awareness by Will Osprey, pinning him right in the middle of the ring. Osprey now with a beautiful Spanish fly. Man, oh man, what a maneuver there by Will Osprey. Definitely showing CM Punk who's the uh, who's the young gun in this matchup. Punk said that he's he's wrestling in this King of the Ring not just for championship gold but to prove that he can still hang in there with some of the best. Last year for King of the Ring, we had a 16-man tournament to decide who was going to be taking on Cody Rhodes for the World Heavyweight title. Look at this now as Punk flips him around here. Punk has a submission maneuver locked in. This could be all she wrote here, and no. Osprey says no. Osprey fighting out of it. Beautifully done there by Will Osprey. What does Osprey have in mind now? Just kicking down the face there of CM Punk. Osprey not playing any games here tonight. You can't blame him as this opportunity will presumably be the last opportunity for either one of these gentlemen for the foreseeable future when it comes down to the WWE Championship. What a maneuver, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this now. Osprey top rope and oh! Beautiful maneuver there by Will Osprey. Osprey off the top of the rope. Oh, beautiful standing moonsault there. Right off of the uh, Hurricane Ronald from the top rope. I mean, Will Ospreay is doing it all here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Ospreay is not playing any games with the best in the world, CM Punk. And Punk is definitely knowing it. As look at this now, Punk gets picked up by Ospreay. And a straight powerbomb on the outside by the aerial assassin himself, Will Ospreay. Is, oh, Ospreay now brings Punk right into the, uh, the excuse me, the, state, the still steps there as... Well, Osprey isn't playing any games here tonight. Neither is CM Punk. Punk now looking to get a little bit of a uh, turnaround here on Will Osprey. Beautifully done there. Looks the Irish whip him. Osprey catches himself perfectly. Osprey now, what does he have in mind here? No, I eat my words here as Punk. Punk's the one turning the tides. Back into the ring as this one goes. Exactly where it needs to be, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that now. Big punch there by CM Punk to Will Osprey. And now Punk with a bit of a hurricane run of his own. Punk turning up and doing a damn good job out of here tonight. Big punch by Punk. Punk says no though. Osprey. Oh, goes for something big there. Missed out. Punk absolutely on his A game here tonight. Seemingly having Osprey's moves well scouted. Hammerlock DDT by CM Punk into the cover. No. Look at this now. CM Punk getting back up to his feet, thinking about what to go for next, what to do next, and all he can do. All he can do is just show off to the WWE Universe as surprisingly they are backing Punk here tonight. And look at that now. Osprey just clubbing the back of the head of CM Punk. Not playing any games. Not taking any type of risk here tonight. I eat my words as he took the risk and Punk made him pay. And now Punk is putting up the sign that it's time to go to sleep. Beautiful takedown there. Double axe blow there by CM Punk as Punk... Firing away on all cylinders here tonight. Another DDT for your efforts, ladies and gentlemen. As Oh, look at that. Once again, Will Ospreay not playing any games here tonight with this sold-out crowd in Philadelphia. As look at this now. Osprey gets up and back down. Back up and down again. He goes. And CM Punk is feeling the momentum here tonight. Big kick to the face there. A super kick by CM Punk in 2024. What? What? I mean, imagine, ladies and gentlemen. That's something to see. Look at that. Now, Osprey was about to get a bit of a, a tope of his own by CM Punk. But Osprey seen what was coming and turning the tides. As look at this now. CM Punk looking to make Will Osprey tap out here tonight. And oh, Osprey just a little too close to the ropes. That might be good fortune there for Will Osprey as Punk now going to the top of the rope. What does Punk have in mind for the WWE Universe here tonight? Punk claims he will win a win with the Macho Man drop. From the heavens, one, two, and three, no! What did we just see? Will Ospreay somehow 
some way finding a way out of it and now look at the work that Osprey's doing Osprey cleaning up here trying to slow down the best in the world trying to slow down CM Punk in any and all pace that he can as oh beautifully done there by Will Osprey or excuse me by CM Punk turning it around there big step up kick there by the best in the world CM Punk as Punk now could be closing in on what could be the beginning, the, what could be, excuse me, the beginning of Osprey's end. As look at that now, bouncing him right off the ropes there. Beautiful work. No Osprey, but a kick to the midsection there. Osprey not playing any games with CM Punk. Neither is Punk and Osprey. Beautiful takedown there by the best in the world, CM Punk. Osprey now in the corner, lining up Punk for what could be the beginning of his end. Look at that. Oh no! Missed out on the hidden blade. Punk turns it around. Look at that. Leg scissors. How's the head clobbered? And I think Punk is living up to it when he says it's clobbering time. Look at that, Punk. Off of the ropes, hitting a moonsault. Absolutely picture perfect by the best in the world. CM Punk. And look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Punk now lining up Osprey, but Osprey doing the wise thing and going to the outside of the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, that has got to be the smartest thing you can do in this matchup. If you're a guy like Will Ospreay, a guy who has been fighting on the back burner all night or most of the night, you're going to want to turn this one around by switching up the elements, switching up the, the, the place that you guys are in. And going to the outside is obviously working the benefit of Will Ospreay. Look at that now, Ospreay. Now, Ospreay has to be wary, though. Count of three here. We have yet to know what happens if any one of these matches end in a uh, draw. As that is the goal is to not have any matches in the draw, but just straight up one on one. And look at this now, look at this. Osprey, beautiful! Shooting star press on the outside, but missed. Punk moved right out of the way. And look at this now as Punk. Backbreaker in the barricade. First the summit crashing down on nothing but barricade off of the shooting star. Now his back just getting pressed and destroyed against the barricade. Osprey is in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. If I am Will Osprey, I am finding a way out, and I'm finding a way out fast. As this sold out crowd is enjoying the matchup, but look at this as Will Osprey turning the tides here. We can kick up back to him. Look at this, Osprey turning the tides, doing a damn good job at it. Not playing any games with his opponent, absolutely isolating here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that now, we can't get a clean image on it, but Punk, Punk is getting absolutely demolished here by Will Osprey. As Osprey, it was that one, you know, mistake on the matchup, that shooting star press off the top of the rope, that right there has completely turned the game. Completely turn the game for this man right here and look at that now Osprey now getting back into the ring we're CM Punk this right here ladies and gentlemen can be all she wrote as look at this now oh my god no Osprey Osprey just absolutely clubbing down on the back of the neck of the best in the world CM Punk look at that now Osprey tried to hit a big big storm breaker but look at that moves out of the way beautifully done there by the best in the world CM Punk moving out of the way now what does he have in store here by Osprey Oh my goodness! Power driver by the best in the world! And now he's feeling a bit of a comeback, ladies and gentlemen! Look at that! Big super kick by CM Punk. He is turning it up here tonight for Will Ospreay. Is he gonna do it? He has him up! Go to sleep! Can Punk put Ospreay to sleep in your main event? He dies! CM Punk puts Will Ospreay down in the main event. And now Punk moves on to the quarterfinals, or ladies and gentlemen, excuse me, semifinals, as it is going to either be the WrestleMania rematch, Punk and Rhodes, or it is going to be Punk versus L.A. Knight. Yeah.